Just how far down does this cave go? Heads up. More than rock monsters. Maybe we just got off on the wrong foot. They're rock people. I don't think they're looking to make a man's quilt. Oh, maybe I can help. I think I speak their language. <laughs> about as well as expected. I was sure. Oh, maybe I just haven't learned it yet. I think I picked up the word for kill. Or the grunt, anyway. The fog doesn't seem to bother whatever these giant things are. Maybe they're just smart enough to not wander around in it. Unlike some people. I am Groot. I know why we're doing it. And don't think Drax won't hear all about it, either. Oh, is this the one where Little Fuzzy does something heroic? Hard to say. I think it's pretty easy to say he won't. You, most of all, should be willing to give someone another chance, Gamora. Um, guys. I know, little fuzzy. And it is the only way forward. What's happening? He sees what lies ahead, and I see what lies behind. Uh-uh. No way. No flarkin' way. It doesn't seem that wet. Like, medium wet. I ain't walking through a flarkin' monsoon! Maybe there's a way to use those plants to divert the water. We're a team. We'll figure it out. Are we seriously gonna let this keep us from saving Drax? Sure! You save him while I drown! How does it even grow down here? I don't know. Those big leaves could be useful, like a dam. Gamora, let's climb up there, get eyes on the problem. The problem is that Rocky needs to suck it up. Yeah, good luck with that. In Little Fuzzy's defense, he has died drowning in far less water than this. Exactly. Wait, what? This doesn't seem absurd to you? He's got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? You're supposed to be his leader. Have you met Rocket? Much choice. I could try blowing it up. And... 
Remember last time you blew something up? Okay, fine. What would you guys do without me? Yeah. Before we left the ship! Here is the almighty Star-Lord. Yes! Can't believe that works. Half work. Come on, it's like 50% less wet. I'm 0% interested. Right, come on it. Hold that! Must still be stuck somewhere. What do you think, Rocket? Doesn't seem that bad. Translation. Rocket don't Rocket don't like wet. We get it. It's a scary dark cave. We're all probably gonna encounter things we don't like. True. But nothing as much as little fuzzy doesn't like getting wet. Never underestimate someone's deeply rooted fear, Sir Fry. Especially when you do not understand the root. Anyone else suddenly missing Drax's anecdotes about Kataf? Oh, you know he has some Katathian fairy tale related to our current situation. Like the Katathian equivalent of Jack and the Giant Beanstalk. Hey, Groot, can you get me up there? I am Groot. He's on his way. Just tell him how high. <laughs> What's a big-ass plant doing all the way down here? The priests call it Buros, giver of light and life. In our case, I'd settle for some shelter. Hey, if I jump, you can catch me, right? Guess we'll find out. That's not very reassuring. Just don't screw up the jump. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we just leave him behind and focus on saving Drax? He'll still be here on the way back, and if he isn't... <laughs> just like that! Wait, don't give him an even bigger head than he's already got. Too bad you don't have these sweet guns, Rocket. Keep it up, and I'll swipe him in your sleep. Thanks, shot, Peter. Oh, uh, thanks. Anyway, thanks, Quill. Really. I was pretty sure you had tentacles. What do you say, Groot? Now that we got the whole team together? I am Groot. Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rocket. This is you happy? Oh, yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. You really, really shouldn't. Crab corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. The what now? I thought we just did the wet part. Oh, it gets worse. Much worse. Guys. Seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So, about all them futures where we die. Has he always been able to do that? He says he don't like showing off. Thanks, buddy. No, I don't gotta tell him. Oh, right. The thing that you tell us in the dark. It's really important. No, it ain't! Shut up! You're among friends, Rocket. It's nothing, okay? Just... 
The lab I was in did tests on me in tubes of water, and it sucked. It really, really sucked. Sensory deprivation experiments on Half-World. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other things. And that's why you hate getting wet. Mark, I had no idea. Don't make a big deal out of it. Just prefer to keep dry as all. So how long do we gotta wander around smashing our shins on rocks? Imagine it's a metaphor. You're in the physical darkness, and that reflects Green Meanie's mind. We can double back along Bruce's path and then try to find the exit. Parking visor! It ain't a flashlight, Quill. Remember back in the dark in the quarantine zone? I thought that was some funky energy thing. Funky energy in the dark. Groot's bioluminescence ain't exactly on the defined light spectrum. Okay, Groot. Of course he'll be okay. He's super strong. Hey. Ooh, this part. Ooh. Okay. Anyone else getting really fed up with little Miss Cryptic? <laughs> Pretty. <laughs> Give me a break. At least it seems less dark through here and less wet. Works for me. Mantis. Anything in particular we should be looking out for? I'm trying to remember. I think this is where it gets loopy. Oh, uh, there's that creepy fog again. It's always here. Always. Until it isn't. What's that supposed to... I don't... More Hellraisers. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those Flartnards. It's them creepy eyeball things from the QZ. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball things. I can't tell. Not clear. Well, it's clear to me. These ears don't lie, lady. More's gotta be right. We already know Hellbender's goons tracked us here. What do you know? Hellraiser! I know what I heard! This is like a bad dream! place has a mind of its own. Not mind. Force. Anyone else getting deja vu? It all looks the same with this fog. Well, it don't sound the same. It's them jelly things from Seknar. That explains Stumpy's cousin. No, it's Novacor. I hear voices. How can you not tell the difference between monsters and people? It's not that. We're clearly hearing different things. It's definitely those jellies from Seknarf. I can hear their spiky things shooting out. What do you know? Rocket's right! Hey, that was right too. This getting any clearer to you, Mantis? All I see is fog. Hear noises. Feel fighting. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. At least there's a way out now, I guess. Okay, now that's them bouncing eyeballs from the QC. No question. I'm not doing this. Something is clearly messing with us. Shatari? Okay, well, that's just wrong. You're worse than her. Those overgrown lizards make clicky sounds. You got moss in your ears. Something isn't right. There's something we're supposed to do. I'm with Groot. 
Shatari. I'll never forget those things as long as I live. This ain't no time to close. It's like a more set. Something's messing with us. They sound like all the flark and scut bags that have tried to kill us recently. Shh. What do you mean? Shh. Stop us right. Shh. Right about what? Shh. There's a new way out. So it was nothing. I think it depends. It's got something to do with the freaky fog. Every time you name an enemy, it has the power to make that enemy appear. So the key all along was quiet. Yeah, like that. Was never I saw so many versions. It's not done with us yet, Guardians. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut from now on. The Fog Entity has retreated for now. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, Bug Lady, but nothing you say means anything anymore. So the Fog is an entity now? Yes. Sort of. Obviously, if some fog monster's trying to kill us, it means we're getting closer to whatever it is we're looking for. That kind of makes sense. And if this fog monster can make bad things appear, maybe the opposite is true. Like if we all say cure Drax, maybe that's what we've been looking for the whole time. I wish, Star Guy, but no. The one time she gives a definite answer. Just like that. In one possible timeline, we all get smushed. Great! Let's see those vines, group. I am Groot. Ooh, do you all feel that? We're so close! Let me guess. Further down? Only if you want to save Drax and the whole galaxy. Let me get back to you. Okay, okay. Look, guys, um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing, um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Fog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water... <laughs> no, no, Quill. She doesn't know where we are. She doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for! Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, okay! This is crazy. He is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. I am super proud of us. Because we've never gone this far for anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um... Well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly! And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me, just as depraved, self-centered, mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like many of those things. So do I! But none of those things are why we're here now. Right? You're down here, kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the Destroyer, not Drax the Rampaging Criminal. Drax, man! Friend. And Gamora, you've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people, to get revenge in what, what 
only in Sum or some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, it feels so good. And uh, Groot. Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain. But, or if you do, I don't catch it. But I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us. And that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team, following a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help! We're a family! We're the fucking guardians of the galaxy! Yay! Really great speech, Quill. Why did anyone stop me? You're all such a roll! What evil means is what's good. And I'm having fun shooting him! Drop him, Gamora! I'm on it! Not dead. 
I can't believe you did that for us. Hey, a friend needed help. Bunch of them. Rocket, man. Hey. Can we please just save Drax already? Warm? Very, very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as flock didn't get all wet for nothing. Something sad and sulking, licking lingering wounds. <laughs> if it's here. She's totally gonna feed us something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect to fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de-escalation thing. Mantis has been right so far. About what? Finding swamp water in the stinking cave of doom? Yeah, bug lady got that part right. Thanks. The priests of Pama settled Lamentis for a reason. This is the place of healing. Uh-huh. Spiritual healing. Drax would have taken us right back to Sacrosanct if Mantis hadn't seen it coming. We're here. Home of the healing light. Source of the cure. Origin of Raker's power. It's... a cocoon? Told you she was gonna feed us to some giant bug. Or maybe she's the bug, and that's some kind of... External digestion sack or something. <laughs> you realize this is weird. Oh, gross. Please tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. Followers. Think fast, beard butt! How the... You know not the gravity of your treacherous trespass! Not quell a god. <laughs> Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Meanie, you're up. Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. It's okay, guys, it's him! Aaron Witchcraft! No, wait, Aiden Warsock! Ashley Warsock? Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the sanctimonious shepherd? Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. In we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. Ugh. Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas, her friend included. 
I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So... Can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. A first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh, can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... What the butt? It's like the beginning of Space Odyssey. Welcome to the Astral Plane, Snorlord. You teleported us? Oh, no. You're still comfy cozy with me. I just merged your minds. Merged our what? I gave no consent to this, Planescaper. She's not big on asking permission. It's all pretty sure this and fate of the galaxy that. Don't you get huffy, god guy. Your gold hands are all over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause can coalesce. Uh, guys? Is that Drax? Hi, Groot. So we're going into Drax's head. Literally. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. Find him. Convince him to come back to reality. Mantis, please tell me we're supposed to be going into the bright light. Pretty sure. You need to reach the heart of Drax's promise. Much deeper than I've ever seen. Wait, if you've never seen it, does that mean it never happens? Hope not. Just keep going. And if we lose contact, listen to Amy Winsaw. She means you. Quite clearly. 